Hey, good morning, Brew. Greg Silberman here for CIO's uh, the lovely Taj Mahal of, of India behind me. We're going to speak about it in a second. Um, but I did want to just speak, touch on markets for a second before we, we crossed over to EM. I have been of the opinion pretty emphatically that we have been in a bear market rally. Uh, and so the market seems to be teetering a bit. Volatility is wearing its head. I don't know what the news will be that will drive it, but it seems to be that we are uh, experiencing volatility. So we'll see where things go from here. Look, when you have a crisis, whatever the crisis, this may be if you have a lot of debt underlying the economy it's just going to exacerbate any kind of crisis uh, and clearly we're sitting on you know mountains of debt about 22 trillion na debt nationally pension funds etc and in addition we create another four trillion dollars worth of debt so when you have to create these rush stimulus programs ppp dropping money into people's bank accounts it just exacerbates the problem if we all simply had some level of savings to fall back on so uh, it does make a crisis a little uh, a little worse but out of crisis you certainly come opportunities and whilst i still think we're in a bear market uh, when we do emerge from the bear market one area I'm looking hard at is India. So let me take you through a few statistics of, of India. Certainly India has a bit of a socialist leaning to it from its past. So that's one negative against it. But its new uh, emergence as, as a rival to China is really pitting it in competition against China and making it a, a friend of the USA. Certainly English speaking and democratic uh, elected governments help. Now, why that's important right now is because as we see our reliance on China and our dependency on Chinese supply lines or supply chains, I suspect India may be uh, a recipient of a lot of this relocation of supply chains, uh, as it were.